weekend been like so far? What have you really enjoyed doing and meeting? Well, I'm having so much fun. I uh, get to meet the, all the players yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I'm just excited. What do you hope to get out of this weekend? Um, I want to meet all these big players. I want to. I want to. I hope I get meet LeBron. I hope I get. Um, I know my boy Tyrese is there, so I've been seeing him every day. So I want to. I'm looking forward to have fun and meet uh, the rest of the players. Do you have any family friends here that you're able to share it with? Yes, I got my host families. I got friends uh, they coming just uh, to spend time with me, and we can have fun. Oscar, when you came in here, you just even to work out with the Pacers. You had no idea what your future would hold. Now, a couple months later, you're here. Did you ever expect something like this would happen? Uh, I, uh, I believe in God. I know uh, God is always do something great. Um, I know I was working harder. I know at the end, I was praying to come to the Pacers anyway. Uh, when I was traveling, go walk out with teams, I was like, God, because I went to school in Kentucky, and I, I don't want to be far from Kentucky. But look what I did. So I'm here. I'm so excited. Oscar, your rebounding style of play, how do you think that will translate to a game like this, this Rising Star? Uh, the Rising Star, uh, um, I just told him shoot the ball all the time. So, like, I'll be down there rebound the ball. Um, I think it would be good if I grab 30 rebounds in the Rising Star. Um, I think it will, it will translate anyway. Uh, we're going to be having a lot of fun. Did you talk with Ben or anyone that's played in this before to kind of get a feel for it yet? Yeah, I spoke to Ben. Uh, ben, he just told me, just uh, let's go have fun. Just do what you can do and uh, make sure you're having fun. What would it be like to potentially play against Ben tonight? Play against Ben? I said, I dunked on you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, better watch out. I said, I dunked on you. He told me, shut up, you can't jump. But uh, he'll be good. He'll be good to see him, just me going against him. Did you go grow up watching any or a lot of this? I started watching the NBA in 2016. So um, I didn't grow up watching this. I grew up uh, playing soccer. I did not know anything about basketball until 2015. That's when I started. Why? 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 Who changed that for you? Uh, there's someone who just... One of my brother's friends just grabbed me from nowhere. Uh, you're getting so tall, you gotta stop playing basketball. And uh, I say, wow, I don't like basketball. And uh, I did, I did not like basketball. So he tried me the first time. Uh, I was going to the soccer practice with my soccer shoes with those clips on. He just said, let's go to basketball practice today. So the first time I practiced with those soccer shoes with the clips on. Everybody was making fun of me. I hit it. I didn't want to go back until um, the third day. So then I decided to love it when I hear um, there was something great in basketball. What didn't you like about basketball initially? Well, I did not like about basketball. First time is when I first got to the practice, my coach, um, he gave me uh, he gave me the exercise to do. He said, I'm going to teach you how to play basketball. He said, go with the dribble with the right hand, come back with the left hand, but you got to close your eyes. I said, what kind of sport is these people playing close <laughs> eyes? <laughs> so that's one thing I did not like about basketball. And he told me, no, this is just exercise. Just, you don't, you're going to open your eyes while you're playing. That's the one thing I did not like about basketball. When I found out it was just exercise, then I started loving basketball. <laughs> You're, you're more than halfway done with your rookie season. What have you liked most about what's going on for you? Um, everything is going good. I'm learning a lot, uh, especially when I'm with the Pacers. I don't get to play much, but I'm learning the game. Um, but when I'm with the Martins, I just say, like, let me, I got a killer mentality. Just kill it. And I'm taking everything I'm learning with the Pacers. When I'm in the Martins, it's like practice for me. I'm practicing getting better and improve everything. So I'm learning a lot in it. Everything is going really good. How does your soccer experience translate to football basketball? Um, I would think I would say that I used to be a goalie, so that's what probably teach me to run rebound. So you gotta be able to jump, catch a ball. Um, it translated me. And I used to play different um, run, try to stop people. So I used to run a lot. So he helped me a lot, a little bit. So what is the, you mentioned this point when I asked Michael Pacers, what's the back and forth been like having to play for It's been a, it's been a challenge because sometimes you go be a, like a, I was with the Martins in California, Sacramento, and the next day they say you're in the plane, you're going to be with us with, uh, in New York. 
So uh, for me, it's just uh, stay focused, stay with you all the time. It's been challenges because you happen uh, back and forth, but it's been great. Things is going really good. What's the most important they've tried to get you to develop? They've tried to make you more valuable. They trying to get me understand the game and more, and uh, be able to uh, to understand the game, be able to switch, play more defense, uh, be able to communicate better, passing the ball really good. Uh, that's the thing we've been working on, and my jump shot too. How do you think you've gotten better defensively? What's that challenge and like getting used to the switching part of it? Yeah. They did a pretty good job uh, when we play with uh, Madden's, uh, um, they, they allow me to switch with the guard so I can stay in front. So uh, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. A uh, couple mistakes, but I'm getting better. How much have you talked to Bismack since getting into the NBA? I talked to Biz a lot of time. Um, he's one of my big brothers who helped me a lot with this process. So he will just keep putting the motivation speech. Um, Keep trusting, your time will come, but keep getting better. So I talk to him all the time, and I'm happy that uh, he signed with the Thunder. So um, I was praying that I can I get chance so we, I can play against him too. Oscar, what impresses you most when you see the collective of this group and the amount of talent here amongst all these young guys? Well, uh, that really motivated me. He say uh, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. To be among all these people, players, kind of told me like uh, it's not his to get here but you know I got a lot of work I gotta do so I just keep working and I'm gonna learn for each and one of them here I'm gonna make sure I have some conversation with them so I would like to learn from each each player. I see the smile here you seem to genuinely be enjoying being a part of this maybe even outside of the basketball just being around these guys. I'm just I'm just having so the joy the joy of the load so I'm just excited to be here um, to be here because are, I had so many people tell me I'll never be here because I started basketball so late at the age of 15. So to be here, I'm just taking that. A lot of Oscar. Oscar, who's the one guy? Actually, I just asked Mac. I asked him who's the one guy he's trying to dunk on that he's never dunked on before, but he's trying to dunk on. And he said, Mr. Oscar Shibway, what do you got to say to that? Nah, he got, I'm going to send that basketball back to, to get City. Uh, <laughs> But now, like one of his dunks, the former reigning dunk champ. I did like uh, Mike. Uh, me and Mike, we um, we played together for a long time. He tried to dunk on me a lot of times, but he have not given me. He's never dunked on you. He never dunked on me, no. So you're swatting his stuff back, or or like he's just missing dunks. He uh, he's, I've been, no, I've been sending that. I've, I've been sending that. Like he have never. He tried dunk on me a couple times, but he had not given me. Um, I know. I hope he don't jump against me when I go up. Um, but I'm so happy for my boy. He's doing good. He's coming a long way. Um, I'm just so happy for him. And one, one quick follow up: Who's the one guy you're trying to dunk on that you've never dunked on before? Anybody uh, in the league? G League, NBA, doesn't matter. No, I'm not gonna go far. I'll go with the Benedict Matrain because he was talking crazy. <laughs> Is he talking? He talking crazy. What do you, what do you say? He say um, he say gonna dunk on me. He say uh, when we gonna play against them, not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything against them. So that's what he say. And he say gonna ask them so he can guard me. That's for tonight. For tonight. Okay. We're going to see yeah. what happens. Okay. Yeah. Oscar, with all the different routes to get to the NBA now, G League Ignite, over time will leave. What's the biggest thing that you feel like you got out of college and the college experience? And the college experience, uh, hmm. I feel like um, we got more responsibility, more, more responsibility here, uh, more focus because you on your own now. Uh, become my job. In college, um, yeah, I had to mentor a lot of younger kids. Uh, there's a freshman. Uh, coach used to call him, they had knucklehead, knucklehead. Uh, Oscar, you gotta take care of them. So I think um, I've been uh, professional, you just uh, more, more, you gotta be more focused. You gotta be more locked in because you, there's no more key, there's more, no, no more anybody. Well, I just in transition is so different. NBA basketball, college basketball is a big time different. Um, I'm, now I feel like I'm, I'm in the first grade again. I'm learning everything new. Did you have any athlete idols growing up? It might have been in soccer, but yes. Well, who were kind of the the, the star athletes that you like watching? I uh, I grew up. We most love European soccer. We did. Uh, uh, my favorite was Ronaldo. I still watch him even today. 
Do you ever have an NBA star that you like? Like Tyrese always obviously talks about yes. LeBron a lot. I um, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe was my. He was the one who inspired me. His work ethic, his member mentality. That's what got me to where I am today by working harder. They say hard work uh, is always prosperity. You gonna prosper if you work harder. So I watched Kobe. He was not sleeping. He was in the gym all the time. And I say, if I can walk like that, I think I can get somewhere one day. I wonder if your uh, day-to-day role is changing. How much uh, time uh, one do you get? Whether you're getting your pages or bands or what's going on? Are you just checking your phone all the time? Or? You got to check your phone all the time. <laughs> I gotta check your phone all the time. Sometimes you might wake up, you miss 10 phone calls in two seconds. And uh, some days, even at night, you know, sometimes your phone is in a do not disturb. No, you gotta leave your phone open so you don't miss a call. So like, uh, I am, um, I'm enjoying, I'm having good time because uh, don't don't rush the opportunity. That's uh, every time they call, you gotta be ready to go. So I'm good. You have one person that you kind of Yes, I got a couple people on the patients. If I know, if I see they test, I know why it's something they need me. So uh, I got a couple of them. There's some some tests I look and say, yeah, I'm good. Uh, there's some tests I see, oh yeah, I got to open this one. Like it might be something great. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. And uh, they're helping me a lot. It's been like living in India. <laughs> What? What's it been like living in India? Been in living in India. I'm, I feel like I'm living in paradise. I'm good. <laughs> I'm having good time. It's not a crazy place. Uh, it is quiet. Uh, I don't live far from here. I just be coming in here, get my work, meet my people over here. We have good time, practice. We just laughing over here. If you see Taris. We just smiling all the time. We just smiling and have a good time. What's it like for this Indy to host All Star for you? Oh, be that's the best. Stuff. That's the best. When I here was in Indy, so I was like, wow, I want to be here for the All Star. If I get to the point when I was booking vacation for the All Star break, when I was praying, I said, God, um, where should I go for the vacation? He answered me, said, little, wait a little bit. Don't book vacation yet. And uh, they call me next day and say, you are selected in the Rising Star. I said, wow. That was a great, um, I thank God because you see it first of all, and uh, our families get to see these people in Indy. We're gonna have a lot of good time. Where were you planning to go on vacation? I was planning to go somewhere to the water. water? Yes, and the warm, it's gonna be so nice and just relax, take a little bit of break. But I would rather be here, meet all these people, have a good time, than, than go away like that. Uh, the problem is that uh, the guys see him a lot of basket. The uh, le- basket is like the idol. But uh, here, even if we play, the people are always there. Even if we don't play against a good team, they are always there. I like it a lot. And then the people, everywhere you play, the people approach you always. Ah, but it, 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 it demands a lot of things. We do one more with Oscar. Just, you mentioned getting to play in this All-Star game, to be a part of this All-Star weekend. The importance of the G League having a, a footprint on this weekend, what do you think that does for them? It does, it means a lot. It means a lot for me to be here, and I just thank God so much. Uh, to be able to play even in the G League next up, uh, that means a lot. So I'm just looking forward to I know tonight we're going to have so much fun. Uh, I will start meeting everybody. We're coming together. I'm just excited. Like My heart is just jumping inside. Like I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm excited.